Hi everyone, it's Ian here from Crack Maths and welcome to tutorial 29 on how to write a ratio in its simplest form. Okay, so if you're watching this tutorial, you probably know a little bit about ratios, but what I want to go through first, I'm just going to do a pictorial example of what this actually means to write a ratio in its simplest form. So to do this, I want to look at this question here, which is write the ratio 12 to 16 in its simplest form. So I'm going to just write 12 to 16 up here first, but what I'm now going to do is I'm going to draw this in terms of dots. Okay, so I'm going to draw 12 dots on one side and 16 dots on the other. Okay, and I'm drawing them here because basically what we want to do is we want to see if there is another way of describing this ratio that is simpler than 12 to 16. Now the way that is going to be simpler than 12 to 16 is going to be by dividing these all into groups of four. Okay, so I can see here on one side I'm going to have three groups of four and on the other side we're going to have four groups of four. So what that means is this ratio, which is 12 to 16, could also be th three to four because it's these three things that are the same to these four things that are the same. Okay, so there we go. We've got that. I'm going to bank that in your mind. So remember, this is what it looks like. This is why 12 to 16 is also three to four. But we can also do this by looking at it with our direct proportion as well. So we know that ratios are proportional. They increase and decrease by being multiplied and divided by the same amounts. OK, that's what directly proportional is. So we know that 12 to 16 can simplify down to three to four. And the way that we do that is we can do it in stages. So 12 to 16 is going to be the same as six to eight. And then that's going to be the same again as three to four because we've been going up and going down at the same rate. OK, let's have a look at another question here. So this question says simplify the ratio 24 to 12 to 36. OK, I'm not going to draw this one out. I'm just going to go straight to the number method. So 12 to 24 to 36. I can instantly see that we can halve all of these. So that's going to be give us. 12 to 6 to 18. 12 to 6 to 18, I can see that I can halve all of those as well. 12, 6, 18. If I halve each one of those, I'm going to get 6, 3, 9. And now there's odd numbers in there, so I know that I can't halve them anymore. But all of these numbers are in the three times table. So let's have a look at this. So we're going to go. 6 divided by 3 will give us 2, 3 divided by 3 will give us 1, and 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. So there we go. So the answer is going to be 2, 1, 3. 2 to 1 to 3. So if we're looking at that ratio in its simplest form, its simplest form is going to be 2 to 1 to 3. Right, let's do one more example, and then we can look at a scenario question, and then that will be that. So. Let's have a look at this next question, which says simplify 25 to 15. OK, so it's right 25 to 15 in its simplest form. Now, this one, I can see they're both divisible by five. So if I do 25 divided by five, that gives me five. If I do 15 divided by five, that gives me three. So 25 to 15 in its simplest form is going to be five to three. OK, great. Let's have a look at the scenario question. So here we go. Uh, the scenario questions are a bit, they're actually okay with this one. Um, it's just quite basic. It's in a basket of fruits, the ratio of apples to oranges is six to eight. Write this ratio in its simplest form. Okay. So you've got to pick out the question from that. I know there's a lot of text there, but the question is write six to eight in its simplest form. So six to eight, they can both be halved. That becomes three to four. And can't do anything more than that. They're both as low as they can go. I mean, three is a prime number, so that means there's no more factors. So that definitely can't be divided anymore. So we just have to stop there. So the answer to this question is three to four. OK, well, I hope that that was helpful for you. Now, if you need any more help on these questions, remember that there's loads of examples available at crackmaths.co.uk. You can go down and just access the tutorial number and practice away. OK, hopefully see you in the next tutorial. So long.